Ramble. Thank you to Quince, BetterHelp, and Hatch for sponsoring this episode. Hello, everybody. Welcome to another episode of You Can Sit With Us. My name is Maggie. I am one of your hosts. And today I am joined by Matthew. Hello. Becky. Hi. And we got Rainy on the ones and twos. Hi. Shh. 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 Rain on me. <laughs> rain on me. Um, thank you for tuning in to sit with us, everybody. We have like a very fun episode prepped for you guys today. But first, we can start with a advice question. Ooh. We love reading our advice submissions. And if you guys ever have anything, you can slide into one of our DMs or you can email our podcast email at you can sit with us pod at gmail.com. But here we go. I love listening to your podcast on my commute each week. I'm writing for some advice about planning my bachelorette party this summer. Ooh, and I hope wait, wait, wait. So fun. you will share some ideas or maybe even an inspiration from parties that you've attended. First, I want to say that my fiance and I are keeping some traditional wedding elements, but we are also making other parts more modern. So for my bachelorette, I'm open to being outside of the box. Quote, I'm mostly just not sure what kind of activity to pitch that can bring together different groups of friends. And I also want to make sure that the whole activity isn't centered entirely around drinking. Also, a strip club is my personal nightmare and my fiance's <laughs> sister will be coming. So that would make me highly uncomfortable. <laughs> I'm planning to invite about 20 people overall, not just bridesmaids. With those parameters in mind, I'd love to hear any fun, inclusive party ideas that you can dream up. Damn, 20 people. 20 people is a lot. Woo! I mean, who? I mean, are... I, I don't know the answer to this question, but do a lot of bachelorettes want to go to like a strip club for the bachelorette party? I feel like it's just like a common trope. Yeah. You, when you see things in like media, like, I know, like, like that. Thun, like going to Thunder from Down Under or something. Yeah. But like I've, an actual like I've strip never club, been strip to club. a strip club at a bachelorette party. So yeah, me neither. That's all yeah. I was like. Yeah. So that was one of her disclaimers. Oh, you know what? We did. Uh, there was <laughs> She's one, like, wait. Wait. And Maggie's like, hold on a minute. Wait. There was a, a stripper that came and like made mm. drinks. At one point at a bachelorette that I went to and I was so uncomfortable. I was running away the entire time. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. But they tried to do one for mine as well. And I was like, absolutely not. You are like, not going to tell some like stranger where we're all living for the next like. He was like a stranger when you walk in and you start stripping. Oh, <laughs> <it's> like, um. <laughs> yeah. Maggie, I'm here to clean your house. <laughs> Please, no. Please, Is no. there a toilet that needs plunging? Oh, no. <laughs> Glamorous. <laughs> Glamorous. <laughs> I'm here to shake your cocktails, Maggie. What's Kiss. the biggest bachelorette party you've ever been to? Like 20 people sounds like a lot to me. I've only been to like, very tiny, like. Eight people. Yeah. Like how? Bachelorettes. Yeah. I feel like eight be, like, is like the perfect number. I've been to one that was, I want to say like 16 to 20 in Miami. That's a lot of people to house. There's a lot mm -hmm. of people to house. And like, necess you don't have to have like an overnight bachelorette party. I guess that's true. I've been to one that was just like mm -hmm. one night mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. in New York and it was so fun. Mm -hmm. I mean, I had to spend the night there because I don't live there, but the people, most of the people there live there. So it like, right. you mm -hmm. just met up. Um, but yeah, I went to one that was a lot and getting a, t a like a dinner reservation for 20 people. <gasps> you got to do it with notice. You can't just That's decide right. to do it's that a couple weeks nightmare. in advance. Yeah. I feel like a good idea would be to center your event around another event that's happening in that city. Mm. Like, that's smart. I'm thinking like, because since I love Palm Springs, I'm always there. Like this, like it, it was just modernism week, right? Mm -hmm. There's so many activities. Mm. So much stuff is going on. Not, not drinking things, you know, yeah. like you go on house tours. Like if you love architecture, there's cool stuff happening at the museum. Like, you know, there's so many other talks. There's an expo. Like they have like, it's also the date festival. So easy to get everyone together to eat. And so maybe if you could find something like that, mm. that can coincide your event. So then there's like a lot of people can eat at once because there's like, you know, a food fair, you know, things like that. Yeah. They could, ex they could facilitate making it easier for you to plan and also give everyone a little something else that's different to do. Yeah. That's a good idea. Mm -hmm. Right? Because yeah. I feel like a lot of it is like, oh, my God, let's go to Vegas and party, you know? Yeah. And that gets kind of tired after a while. 
After being to like so many bachelors, <laughs> it's just so tiring. So tiring. You're the number one bachelorette uh, wrangler. You've got all the bachelorettes in your pocket. <laughs> yeah. I think, yeah, finding fun activities to do. Like, I don't know, go go karting. Yeah. Find like an adventure land mm-hmm. type place. Mm-hmm. Like, do something like that if you want to have a. I just, it just stresses me out the idea of 20 people. Maybe pickleball tournament. Pickleball's <gasps> oh, fun. Oh, pickleball yeah. tournament. Some Send type everyone of tournament, a video. Boxy tournament, something like that. On would be how cool. to play. Mm-hmm. Yeah. So you're not like spending the entire time teaching. Or you could get a pickleball like teacher. Oh, that's yeah. a good idea. And teach everyone and then you can spend the day playing. Because it's also, when you have that many people, I mean, the budget has got to be a bit high. Right. Bigger, yeah. Yeah. Because it's like, what do you, anything's going to cost a lot of money with 20 mm-hmm. people. Yeah. But yeah. pickleball courts, I think for like three hours, we did one this weekend and it was two courts. Mm-hmm. It was $12. That's amazing. Yeah, also, it was pretty good. Mm-hmm. I saw an expose recently about a house in Arizona. Mm-hmm. They could definitely sleep like almost 20 people mm-hmm. and they have their own pickleball court on the property. Like they built Whoa. it to Whoa. make it for like a destination for people to go to. That's so you could find cool. like something like that. Yeah. Right? Yeah. Or then you have the court the whole time. Any sort of like class that speaks to your interests, you can get someone like, like let's say you're into cake decorating. Mm. You can get an mm. expert to come and like have all your friends learn to pipe yeah. like a vintage cake or like a hyper-realistic cake if that's something that's that you're into. Mm-hmm. That'd be cool. That could be fun. Yeah, call up Johnny Cakes. Yeah. <laughs> Johnny, we're actually going to send Johnny Cakes out. <laughs> we're his new agents and his new gig is... Right? Going to bachelorette parties yes. and teaching people how to make illusion cake. Yes. Yeah. The illusion is real. Yeah. Mm-hmm. Yeah. I feel like I've never gone to like a very traditional, like stereotypical bachelorette party. I've only done ones that are like, we go out to dinner. We mm-hmm. do like some sort of excursion. Yeah. And we have an overnight. Yeah. Pool Nothing party. that's been like, let's go to Vegas. Pool party. I'm going to a bachelorette party in Saga Talk, Michigan. I was like, what? where's that? Where's <laughs> where in Michigan? Is that on a lake? It feels like a lake thing. It's near a lake. Yeah. Near near the lake. Yeah. But mm. we're going to take a party bus to and fro mm. and a limo on the way back, which I did have to confirm. I was like, is it like a limo limo where like some of the seats are on the side? She was like, yeah, it's a limo limo. And I was like, you know Old what? School. I will sit in the back. <laughs> right. Motion sick. Facing forward. <laughs> <laughs> but yeah, I think just doing like cute little activities. Mm-hmm. That speak to you. I go to a yeah. petting zoo. <laughs> what about animals. would a petting animals. zoo accommodate twenty people? How many people can go to a petting zoo? I mean, I feel like petting zoos are filled I mean, with children. Like at the actual so. zoo, when they have a petting zoo, there's you know, they're free for twenty it. people can go in. Yeah, yeah, right. You rent out the petting zoo. That'd be a cool one too, because mm-hmm. I know like at zoos you could do like special activities. Oh, you know, yeah. if you have like a tour group, mm. you, you could can do, do behind like the scenes encounter. stuff or like special like. Giraffe feedings and you know stuff like that. That's cool. Oh yeah, the San, San Diego Safari Park has something like that. Yeah, mm-hmm. there's plenty of other things to do. Even like movie, like movie. You're doing like an outdoor movie yeah. night. Yeah, do, or like some watch sort of thing. All the Harry Potters, you know, <laughs> something. <laughs> movie marathon. Movie marathon. I would also like pull your friends. Like I've had a bunch of friends when I was on Bachelors where they like, mm. what do you think would be fun to do like this day? Yeah. Do you like um, when there's like a matching thing that you have to wear, like a t-shirt, <sighs> a hat, mm-hmm, a mm-hmm. water bottle, a towel? I mean, I'll do whatever the bride wants. That's usually my thing. I'm like, okay, you want to do it? I'll do it. Yeah. I won't say anything about it. Yeah. But is it my personal favorite? No. <laughs> <laughs> no, I like to wear my own clothes. <laughs> <laughs> I like to wear my own specific clothing. Um, but no, I, I just, whatever the bride wants to do. Yeah. Sure. Yeah. It's one day. What's it going to kill me? No. Mm-hmm. Then would you ever wear that shirt again? It's a nice little Jimmy's. memento. I have a Jimmy's. Becky's Bacchanal t-shirt that I wear to bed. Yeah. <laughs> one time Zach was People like, love looking at my face when they go to sleep. Yeah. Yes. Zach tried, um, donating it. I was like, we can't donate Becky's <gasps> face. I donated my face. <laughs> that shirt I was, was like, donated immediately after the party. <laughs> I don't want to. She like, wants have to see to... it show up, 
at a vintage t-shirt shop. The last thing I want. 15 years from now. Yeah. $500. <laughs> Becky's back or a Becky's back and all shirt. Mm-hmm. I saved you. I was like, she's staying Thank with you. me. Now I have she's two. Staying with Bowie me. can wear, Bowie can wear me. Exactly. Right. Yeah. Right. Oh, you know what would be cute if you went to like an animal shelter mm. or like if there was a way you could have like adoptable cats come over. Like I remember in college you could walk adoptable dogs around the mm. quad. Like they would bring them in. Yeah. And you basically like rented the dog for like 20 minutes and you took him for a walk and they could did play that with them. At the place close to your old apartment or where you got Emma. They used to oh, do yeah, that. Yeah. They used yeah. to do that where mm-hmm. you could just like walk in and be Cute. like, does anyone need a walk? Yeah. And then you would just take them and I think they would take your driver's license to make sure you didn't they knew like, you were. Yeah. leave with the dog. You could right. just steal dogs. Mm-hmm. Yeah. Puppy party. Puppy party. <gasps> Puppy party. Puppy yeah, party. hopefully that gave you some good ideas for your bachelorette. Mm. Yeah, anything goes. Anything related to your interest. And if your friends just see you having fun on your bachelorette party, I don't think it matters yeah. what They're you do. They're there for you. Yeah. 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 They're there for you. Make them do whatever you want. Whatever you want. Anything <laughs> you say goes. Exactly. <laughs> Be a bridezilla. <laughs> JK, don't do that. <laughs> mm. <laughs> but most people will have fun just mm. having fun with you. Mm-hmm. Yeah, that's true. What you got next for Beautiful. us, Maggie Doodle? Oh, yes. So um, the Oscars are coming <gasps> up. They are? Who knew? Who knew? Who knew? So I thought it would be fun if we had our own Cutie Booty Awards. So I came up with like a list of Oscars. Oscar awards oh. for us. Mm. And we can kind of discuss and hash it out like who should get it. Mm-hmm. Okay. I think it goes to me. So mm. it goes to you just for the mm. entire, all the awards. I think it goes to me. Interesting. Is interesting. The answer. So thank you. And if you guys have I anything that like this <laughs> pops out into your brain, we can also like add categories. Okay. But I'd love we'll to play thank the music the for you, Matt. <laughs> I would love to thank the Academy. <laughs> Outstanding achievement in beauty. What is one product that you could not Ooh. live without? And it could be Ooh. like something that like at the moment, it doesn't have to be like of all time, mm. but something that like you really at this current Love. year, what is something that has resonated with you so deeply and has changed your life? Beauty product. Yeah. Beauty. This is hard. Oh, I know mine. Tread no one, baby. I, I was going to say that, but I was Get like, that is that track, overused? girly. Yeah. I love my Tretinoin. Already. You just started and you love it. I just started. I started Tretinoin like a month or two ago. It is just a retinol that you can get from your dermatologist or your doctor's office. What percentage you at? Just the the lowest because the first time I ever tried it, 0.025 or 0.25. I love it. I use it every night. I've noticed noticeable improvements in my skin while I use it. I'll continue to use it. And if you go to GoodRx, you can get a discount on your prescription. Mm. Some insurance, at least my insurance, didn't cover it because they mm. said it was for cos- – they don't cover cosmetic mm-hmm. things. Mm. Yeah. So. It's true. I I use Trinoin, but I use the 0.1%. I use the highest. I've been <gasps> on it for so long. Yeah, you've been on it for a while. You mm. love the Treddy Trap. That's why I look 15. <laughs> <laughs> you know? Yeah. Exactly. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. I mean, I love that, but I was actually going to say – my sunscreen, my House of Joson sunscreen. Beauty of Joson. Beauty of Joson. Yes, Although I always I say do, House of Joson. I love House of Joson. Because I like well. all the House of Joson products. The whole house. <laughs> the Beauty of Joson sunscreen. Is it the probiotic mm-hmm. one? Oh, PA fifty plus 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 plus. All the pluses. Ooh. I use that every day. I've used it every day for like four years now or something. Yeah, it's the best. Yeah, it's I just so started good. using the Skin One Hundred and Four, which is another mm-hmm. K Beauty. Yeah, sunscreen. Mm. Much dewier, so you might not yeah. like it because you don't like to I get be too, too dewy. I get too but oily. beauty yeah. of Jasan, love. Yes. Hashtag sponsor us. I got Zach finally using sunscreen. He loves his Eisen Tree. Mm. I don't know if that's how you say it, oh, but the hyaluronic yeah. acid. Yeah, Eisen Tree. Yeah, Eisen Tree. Um, love. But he craves the way that feels, and I was like, yes, it's working. Craves the way it feels. Sunscreen, it's baby. He's doing it, but it's both hydrating and we love sun protection. So it's true. You gotta. Yeah. This episode is brought to you by BetterHelp. The first thing I would do if I had an extra hour in my day would be to 
read a good book, and then take a nice nap. I feel like I'm always looking for ways to relax or slow down time a little bit. And a lot of us spend our lives wishing we had more time. The question is, time for what? The best way to squeeze that special something into your schedule is to know what's important to you and make it a priority. And that's what therapy can help you find. Here you can sit with us. We absolutely love therapy, having someone impartial to just kind of chat about your day. It's really nice to just get those feelings out. If you're thinking of starting therapy, give BetterHelp a try. It's entirely online, designed to be convenient, flexible, and suited to your schedule. Just fill out a brief questionnaire to get matched with a licensed therapist, and you can switch therapists anytime for no additional charge. Learn to make time for what makes you happy with BetterHelp. Visit betterhelp.com slash sit with us today to get 10% off your first month. That's BetterHelp, H-E-L-P dot com slash sit with us. I've had a tough time sleeping lately, and it has thrown my routine for a loop. But since I've started using my Hatch Restore, I've been able to prioritize rest again. The Hatch Restore is a device that teaches your body when it's time to sleep or wake up with nighttime and morning routines so you can prioritize rest. With Hatch Plus, you can get exclusive content like Pillow Talk, a new audio series designed to entertain you to sleep. Pillow Talk helps you wind down with the types of TV shows you love, from true crime to sports, but without the screens that hurt healthy rest. And in the morning, Hatch wakes you gently with a sunrise alarm. Right now, Hatch is offering our listeners $20 off your purchase of the Hatch Restore and free shipping at hatch.co slash sitwithus. Visit hatch.co slash sit with us to get $20 off and free shipping. Hatch.co slash sit with us. Yes. What's yours, Mags? Um, as of lately, I'm tied between either my hot roller brush, which like isn't, um, it's not like a blow dryer or anything. It just gets like super, super hot. Or my CeraVe healing balm. I've been putting that, I've been like, my skin has just been Healing bomb so is... mad lately. And I just put that on any sort of like dry spot. Mm. Mm-hmm. Um, and that's helped a lot. Oh. Yeah. And it doesn't have lanolin in it. Like I, for some reason, am a part of the small percentage of the population that cannot put like Aquaphor on my face. Cause like I get hives and like my oh. eyes like turn into like softballs. Cause it has like lanolin's like a derivative of it's from like sheep wool. It's from sheep wool. Yeah. yeah. So I'm allergic. Oh. Highly allergic. But the CeraVe healing balm it has petrolatum and like a little bit of other things that like help um hydrate your skin a little bit more than just plain Vaseline. Mm-hmm. Which we love. How about okay, you, cuz you gave a tool. What's your favorite tool? Beauty tool. Ooh. Right now. tool. Oh, definitely my Therface. I love the Therface. My Therface. Love. It's this little it's a microcurrent device and you can use it for like red light blue light it has a hot it has a cold um it has all the things all the things i love it i'm trying to get into the routine of doing it every night again because i was doing (laughs) it for a while and then you're i mean some doctors say you can some doctors say you can't so i just went with i didn't use it during Mm. pregnancy or breastfeeding um but yeah i got my dupe for that is getting uh ultrasound gel off of like Amazon or, Apple, mm, you know, Target mm-hmm. or something like that. Right. Instead, um, of the, instead of using like the brand's mm-hmm. gel because yeah. it just needs to be a conductor that doesn't have oil in it. Right. So it's a lot cheaper. I know. I Mine is my, I got a really intense LED face mask. I was going to. And I try to use it every day. Ooh. At least three times a week. I try to use it every day. Is it blue, red, white? Yeah. Mm. Yeah. And it. It's like one where you you ha- you can't do stuff while you're using it. You like have to lay there for like you 20 minutes. You have to meditate. That's why it's kind of hard. Oh. <laughs> you know, and it's like definitely very, it's like the most intense one I've ever tried. Really? Yeah. Do you have little goggles that you put on? They do give you goggles. <laughs> I don't, I usually don't wear them though. <gasps> they say you don't have to. What do you do when you are, how long is it? It's 20 minutes. Oh, wow. Um, you listen to music? It's good for taking like a quick nap. <laughs> <laughs> like really good for that because it's very relaxing. <laughs> or I'll put on like a podcast. Mm. Just have it on in the background so I'm not just in silence. <laughs> <laughs> that's your quiet, with your, it's your quiet time. <laughs> but that's definitely my favorite tool for sure. Yeah. And it also has infrared therapy too. So it's like you can use it on your body. So if you like pull oh. muscle, like I was sh- shoveling snow the other week and I like pulled the muscle in my back. Ouch. So I was able to like use that e. to help, you know. Yeah, help heal it a little. Yeah, help heal a little faster. 
Multi-purpose. The mar- multi-purpose tools. <laughs> Just like the Theraface. Multi-purpose. Yeah. Love. We love yeah. a multi-purpose yes. tool. Yes. <laughs> so good. Um, The next um category. So the Oscar goes to. Oh, yeah. Who's oh, the Oscar yeah. go to, man? Which one's the best one? The, well, I guess like they're all our Oscars. <laughs> We're just discuss- I don't know how I would choose one because I haven't utilized them all. We also don't have an Academy, so I guess we are the Academy. But. We are the Academy. We yeah. nominated and we voted. Yeah, they all win. We're Everybody all wins winners. here. Yes. Every, each one got one vote. <laughs> <laughs> Trent Nolan got two. Oh, that's true. Um, Best picture... But our version is our favorite Instagram or TikTok post of the last, let's say, four months. Mine's Becky's hard launch of her baby. (laughs) (laughs) That's a good one. That's a good one. Mine, I guess, would be the one that I just saw, which is, um, I have to look up how to pronounce her name, but Io from The Bear, Mm -hmm. Mm. she was meeting, she was talking to Prince William. Mm. And like Prince William was clearly like, thinking he was hilarious and mm-hmm. she was like what are you doing <laughs> and i it has quickly become one of my favorite pictures <laughs> um the one that's really sticking out to me right now maybe because i just saw it the last week is in in italy they had this san remo um uh music festival mm-hmm. and that's where they choose who the person is going to go to for um why am i blanking on my words Eurovision uh, music festival to see who wins the best oh, like song uh-huh. and whatever uh, mm-hmm. this in Europe. So there's one who there's one, I forgot his name now already um, <laughs> singer. And he, he sings a song like to gold, like everything gold, mm-hmm. but he actually meets the Pope and he's like trying to sing with, with the Pope and having the Pope like do the dance and stuff with him. And it's so funny. Is it real? It's real. Singing and dancing with the Pope. Yeah. Wow. Yeah. What a vibe. It's funny. It's pretty good. That's I mean, good. that must be a lifetime That's achievement a for good, him. Yeah. You know what I mean? Yeah. He's singing with the Pope. Sing with the Pope. Yeah. Crossed off, your, crossed off your bucket list. Yes. Best supporting snack. What is one item from the Second Tribe Pantry that you couldn't resist? Couldn't resist? Or what you actually eat? They got well, a lot of candy. We all know fruit roll up. They got wins. a lot of sugar. They got a lot of sugar. Fruit in there. roll up. FTW. For the win. I've never in my life wanted a fruit roll up. What? You're insane. <laughs> Talk to the hands. Fruit roll I've up never or wanted a fruit, fruit roll up. By the foot. Neither. Fruit Neither. Roll up. Fruit roll up. I'd rather go hungry. <gasps> Are you a savory guy? <laughs> I feel like the 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 fruits, the what, like the gummy Gushers? bears. Like no, gummy, gummy bears and stuff like that, like the fruit snacks. I would choose those over like for roll ups and stuff. I disagree. I Crazy feel like girl. Haribo gummy bears are fine. Mm. I'm throwing hands. I obviously love the hot funyuns. You would. You <laughs> would. Interesting. I love you. Hot, hot funyuns. Hot funyuns. So br- specific. My <laughs> breath after that. Uh-huh. I mean, funyuns, they're like a funny thing. I haven't had Funyuns probably since childhood, and then I saw them in this pantry, and I had them for the first time in many years, and they're pretty good. Can't stop, won't stop. Can't stop, won't stop. Once you pop, you can't stop with the Funyuns. I'm not really a Funyuns girly. I like one or two. Or the texture. It's the crunch. I like the crunch. Yeah. Mm -hmm. But then they kind of just are like air, so it's like- Disintegrate. I think it's because I always want the Cheeto puffs, but I can't- have and you like the spicy cheese, so I just go for the funyuns instead. Much cheese is in a Cheeto pop, you know what I mean? Yeah, that it's is true. It's, it's uh, yeah. proprietary. How real is it? Yeah, it's proprietary. It's proprietary. How much cheese. cheese is really in it? Like you know, there's no dairy in an Oreo, yeah. right? I mean, I, like I'm willing to roll the dice with some ice cream. Cheetos, I'm like. Mm. An accidental bite, bite of ice cream with dairy is no, going to be less like than. that I'm willing to endure a tummy ache for. I see, I see, I see. Yeah. Mm-hmm. Not mm-hmm. for the Cheetos. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. So you're a Funyun, funny Funyuns. Funyuns. Beautiful. Well, that's just like the second try pantry. If you gave me like the entire like CVS mm-hmm. snack section, that's what a different story. What snack do you wish they would have here? Maybe we could pull in, put in some like requests. Requests. Mm. I don't know. They got a lot of snacks in here. I feel like there's a lot. I don't know. It would be dangerous if I had. I think mini donuts. I love a mini donut. Mm. Like the powdered chocolate covered ones that like come mm. in a bag. Yeah, I'll take any of them. <laughs> I don't discriminate. Yeah. I mean, if I want a real treat, I usually just want dark chocolate. Rain. Rain, it's up to you. 
<laughs> Can you make this happen it for us? so intently at Rainy. <laughs> I mean, Rainy, you're here actually the most. You're here for the voting. So what, for the voting of the snacks. What, what snacks are? can you not live without in the second tri pantry? Well, it's it's done a huge overhaul since Leslie started. Because oh. Jack ah. usually, J Jack used to buy the snacks. Yeah. Now yes. it's Leslie. So I like, Leslie's that we have to talk to. Yes. That's what you're trying to say. Um, but I like the Epic Bars. I think uh, those are good. The like beef jerky bars. Yes. Uh -huh. Yes. Mm -hmm. I can't even remember the last time I had jerky. Yeah. But well, I time. didn't have it before I started working. <laughs> I was like buying I was it like, on my that's, own. <laughs> I was like, that's very Colorado of you. Yeah, that <laughs> is, yeah. <laughs> Bison jerky. <laughs> the for, I also have the Barbie Award. So the Barbie Award is because Barbie can be anyone. What is a new activity or hobby you took on this year? Burping, feeding, diaper changing. Your, your new hobby is mommy mode. Yeah. Your mommy Barbie at the moment. I'm mommy Barbie at the moment. Yeah. It's That's a hobby. New hobby. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. I'm trying to think. Um, so actually this year for a couple of my projects, um, I've been using a lot of LED lighting. Mm. And like specifically um, like the LED strips, you know, mm -hmm. LED strip lights. Oh, yeah. And those actually require like a lot of soldering, which you wouldn't think. I would not. Or how to do that. No. So I have become very good at I soldering to all of these lights and stuff together. All You're of the solderer. electric electric stuff. Wow. So that's a new skill that I got this year that I did not have before. I'd never picked up like a soldering. Iron what even is a what is a soldering? Like? I'm, I'm scared to ask. It looks like a big, like it basically looks like a big screwdriver. Mm -hmm. And you plug it in and the end gets really, really hot. And then you have to take a very thin piece of tin mm -hmm. and you like melt that onto the pieces that you want to solder together. Oh, and oh. that's how you connect like multiple mm -hmm. LED strip lights. that's how you connect lights. everything. Ah, yeah. And see. then you put like protection, like shrink things over them to like, seal it in and protect it from starting a fire <gasps> oh. and stuff. So you're doing like electrical, electrician yeah. so it's like worthy electrical things. Stuff. Yeah. Whoa. A lot of LED light design. So is work. this like going in living rooms? Is this going like underneath kitchen cabinets? Yeah, like underneath like floating shelves, oh, kitchen cabinets, pretty. bathrooms, behind accent wall things. Mm -hmm. It's so like nice. That. That's so nice. Yeah, Not it turning on really good, overhead like, is yeah, so It creates really good mood key. lighting. Yeah. Another good spot is like behind your TV because mm. it makes the light, the wall behind your TV light up. So it's oh, not like light at little. you. So it's like more, Low. so it's like nice, so you can have overhead lights on and stuff. So it's like nice, like mood. Ambiance. Yeah, ambiance. Good for night time. So you don't feel like you're in a hospital. Mm -hmm, exactly. <laughs> yeah, I'm not an overhead light girly. No. I like having all the little lamps and the I mean, it's so good for when you're stuff. cleaning. You know, that you is need true. the overhead lights, packing, cleaning, make you really be awake. But then after that, you're like, okay, too intense. Yeah. Yeah. Too much. I'm going to relax. Mm hmm. Right. Get over so that's definitely a new skill. That's a great skill. I wouldn't call it a hobby because it's something I want to do all the time. <laughs> you know what I mean? I feel like yeah. a hobby is like a passion. Yeah. And that's not my passion, yeah. but it does make things look great, which is my passion. <laughs> <laughs> Making things beautiful is Matt's passion. <laughs> exactly. How about you, Megs? Um, Last year, I took a couple flower arranging classes. Mm. And like, instead of continuing to take more, like I'll go to either Trader Joe's. I've gone to like the downtown flower market as oh, well. That's so fun. Like, mm -hmm. Farmer's markets. And I'll give myself like a little budget. And I'm like, okay, if I, because for a lot of the flower arrangement, when I took classes, there was like 10 different like types of like greenery, between greenery and flowers. So I'll try and like, Okay, I'm going to buy like five different things and I can see how many arrangements I can make from mm. that. So I've been trying to practice. So you just have flowers like all over your house? Yeah. You can do like hand tied bouquets mm. or they can do just like the flower or the water vase ones. Mm. Or you can, I've been to ones where they use like either barbed wire or foam instead. So like basically like mm -hmm. centerpieces. Oh. There was like another one that sometimes you can do. I haven't done anything like intense with like installations and like oh, yeah, arches like and the things like that. And stuff like yeah, that. Yeah. I'm like Whoa. starting off very small. Like I just want to be like. <laughs> what was that TV show called where they did those? The, the bloom. What was it called? There was like a competition TV show Ooh. where oh, they yeah. did the big flower. And the the one of the people on it was on their flower arranging episode of Try Guys. The, yes. Oh, yes. Um, was it the expert? 
Yeah, it was like the guy was, was from show. In Bloom LA, I think yeah. was what the coffee shop was. And they created like the crazy big installations of yeah. all flowers and you're like And it teaches you kind of like how to structure things cuz like mm. you're just building shape from mm-hmm. basically mm-hmm. like a pot with water or yeah. if you have like you can like learn to kind of build it and yeah the infrastructure for it mm-hmm. and like so cool you kind of learn how like some certain certain flowers you want them to be very small and like other ones you can make them very big so just like practicing that do they teach you how to like Ooh. open up the flowers because mm-hmm. a lot of times when you get them they're like Ooh, still on a little thing and you're like okay i'm waiting yeah <laughs> they show you like carnations on how to like spin them and like yeah. open them up which is like really fun so Ooh. that's something i want to like continue doing because mm-hmm. it makes me happy and i've like finally like find like a flow state where i'm like not focused on anything else and i'm just like staring and i'm like how do i make this better <laughs> yes. i feel like there has to be good like tutorials on youtube and stuff oh too. yeah like yeah. There's like a lot of online classes that you yeah. can take too. Mm-hmm. Yeah. I follow a lot of florists as mm-hmm. well because it is fun to watch what other people do and like what kind of flower selections they make. So that's fun. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. Yeah. Tablescape that's time. That's cool. Tablescape time. Yeah. Yeah. I usually just throw some olive, olive tree branches on the table and I'm like, beautiful. Done. Gorgeous. Done. I mean, that's something. Yeah. <laughs> that's <laughs> that's something. something. Yeah. We need more cat safe flower arrangements, yeah. Maggie. That's what you need to. I know. I feel like drop most off things the are kitty cats. Most catnip. things they'll kill them. They'll catnip. kill them, and they want to play with them because like yeah. they're crazy Color, looking. Colorful. We do roses. Yeah, that's pretty mm. much it. Yeah, Valentine's. Brought a lily into the house once. That was a mistake. Mm. Don't bring lilies in your house if you have cats. Oh my god, so much pollen. Yeah. Well, and it's also, that's one of the plants where if they like breathe it, it's like <gasps> bad for them. Oh my God. Yeah. That was my bad. How that's, did they ever survive in the wild? You know? They weren't in anywhere. Grandpa Barry didn't. <laughs> Grandpa Barry didn't. That cat did not survive in the wild. He was like, tick, 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 tick me home. <laughs> he was like, I am a gremlin and I need to live here. In the closet. <laughs> Thank you. In closet is where I live. Thank you. Thank you. Yeah, he didn't survive in the wild. <laughs> Um, the next category I have is best supporting emoji. Oh, emoji. <laughs> Which emoji did you use the most this year? Are you an emoji Ooh, user? Like, yes. are, I, I know use certain. The, <laughs> the teeth? All the time. The teeth one. Matt's, like, Matt's doing the cringing face like, for those who are listening. <laughs> I use that all the time. Probably at least once a day. I'm not going to lie. Like, <laughs> or the big eyes looking like. Right and left. Like sus. Yeah, like the, I like the, the one big that's eyes. just the big eye. And I like the c- covering their eyes and just peeking out. Yeah. This one? Yeah. Yeah. I think that one's pretty funny. The reaction emojis. Yeah. I ones. use the crying emoji a lot for laughing, <laughs> for being sad, <laughs> for being deceased. Yeah, that's deceased. the one. Deceased. I use that one. Oh, yeah, I guess like skulls. Deceased. deceased. Using the skull in the cross. Yeah. Dead. Dead. Dramatic. Mm-hmm. I use it all the time. Rainy, what emoji do you use um, the most? I use this one <gasps> all the time. Uh, all the time. Salute. 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 Always good one. I salute you. <laughs> salute. Salute. I mean, they're always coming out with new emojis. What emoji do you wish they had? Right? Like if you were to make an emoji, what would it be? There's no baby emoji. No, there isn't the baby face. There's not? There's a baby Find face. It. Or a baby Find thing. It. Do you want like a baby There's a like swaddle? a pregnant lady. There is a pregnant There's, lady. I want a baby with a cherub face and one little curly Q. Find baby. a baby. Baby. There's Find no. baby. Right there. Huh. <laughs> I was like, exactly I swear like there's Becky one. Explained. I was like, I swear huh. there's one. Elevating my style used to mean breaking the bank. But with Quince, I get high-end, versatile pieces at prices I can actually afford. Now I can upgrade my style by snagging killer luxury essentials that sync with my vibe and wallet. Quince has all the must-haves like Mongolian cashmere crewneck sweaters, iconic 100% leather jackets, and versatile flow-knit activewear. The best part? All Quince items are priced 50-80% to less than similar brands. By partnering directly with top factories, Quince cuts out the cost of the middleman and passes the savings on to us. And Quince only works with factories that use safe, ethical and responsible manufacturing practices along with the premium fabrics and finishes and i love that i love my cashmere matching set i just snuggle up next to the fireplace when it's cold or rainy out and it's just so comfortable and makes me feel great indulge in affordable luxury go to quince.com slash sit with us for free shipping on your order and a 365 day returns that's q u i n c e.com slash sit with us to get free shipping and 365 day returns quince.com slash sit with us 
and there's a nursing a one. Mom brain. <laughs> Babies on the brain. A little brain. tired today. Okay. Besides that one, you want like the dirty nappies. That's what you want. So you could send to Keith whenever there's a blowout. Just send dirty. Nappy, nappy, nappy. Nappy, 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 nappy. I send the poop emoji a lot. Poop, 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 poop. poop. Yeah. Um, but if what? you were to make your own emoji, what would it be? Mm. It'd be Becky's face. It would be Becky No Teeth. I feel like that's the emoji I would oh, make. Oh, yeah. Becky, Becky No Teeth. No teeth. Like a, is there like a squinty one? Someone's like. You know, like snarling, like you're snarling at yeah, someone. Yeah, like, mm, you know. <laughs> I would do a pee one. Like it's you smelled something bad. I really like a mm. Like you stink. Like mm, you're gonna choose that, like that one. Oh, so more like a hmm. Mm. Hmm. Feel like there's not one that really encapsulates that. Yeah. <laughs> right. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Yeah, I think that's true. <laughs> I think but you also didn't think there was a baby emoji. So I don't know why I'm looking at you. <laughs> Stop. Have you guys me, made? Matt. Have you guys made your own stickers? Like sometimes in group chats, I'll just oh, like yeah, start yeah, yeah. sticking stickers yes. and uh -huh. everything, and like you can make them different sizes and you can drag them. Yes. I'm a big fan of making it rain on the screen, like doing one emoji and making it rain, mm -hmm. or doing a sticker and making it rain on the screen. Yes. I think that's pretty funny in almost any context. You know, just all eyes on you. Yeah, in the right. center of the ring. <laughs> it's like a circus. <laughs> <laughs> what would be yours? You'd even say, yeah. Maggie, oh. if you created your own emoji, what would it be? Um, I think I would make a margarita. They have like cocktail oh. drinks, but That's they don't true, really have a margarita. Buried. And my my formal name is Margaret, so I feel like I could use yeah. it next to my name. Senora no, Margarita. A, a selfish thing. Yeah. That's fine. That's what emojis are for. <laughs> emojis are for the people. To describe myself. For the people. For the people. Okay. Yeah. Well, if you hear us, Steve Jobs, who owns Apple? Oh. The shareholders. I have no <laughs> idea. Look it up. Look it up. Who owns Apple? The shareholders. <laughs> the shareholders. Tim Cook. Tim oh. Cook. Yeah. Okay. If you hear us, Cookster, make another baby emoji and <laughs> make another a margarita baby emoji. and someone going, um, mm. 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 Judgy. Mm. We want more. We want a judge emoji. Mm. Judgy emoji. Yeah. Judgy. Judge. Judgy. Good judge. Okay. The next award I have is the. Oh yeah, I did watch that this year, and it's for a show that you binged and you immediately forgot about. I mean, this one's more recent. Go for it. But I'm on the. I'm on the opposite end. I, I would love to know how you feel, Rainy. I'm not into One Day. I haven't seen it. It's. I don't know. What I saw the movie. Oh wait. It's what with Leo Leo Wood Woodall um, from <laughs> I almost said Black Mirror from White Lotus, <laughs> um, <laughs> and it's it's based on a book. And there was a movie with Anne Hathaway and Jim Sturgis in oh, the early two thousands. Yeah. Um, and it's about the these two friends that meet every year on the same day, or you get a peek into their life every year at the same day. And it's a very like will they won't they situation. And I feel like a lot of the internet's like, oh my gosh, they have so much chemistry. This is so great. And I'm like, I'm not seeing it. I'm not seeing the chemistry. And I think when it was made into a show versus the movie, I could see how they would keep coming together. In the show, I'm like, they're just so different. And the main girl, I'm just like, you could do so much better than this Leo. guy. <laughs> <laughs> and so I got like three episodes in and was like, I'm kind of bored. Yeah, I felt... I. I don't even think I really loved the movie, which I think is a really unpopular take. <gasps> well, but you weren't there for Anne Hathaway's British accent. I, <laughs> I don't even know if I finished the movie. <gasps> Wait, Rainy, so you don't know how one day ends? No. <laughs> how does it end? Yeah. Do they get together? <gasps> okay, we're going to have to definitely bleep this. Okay, do you want to know? Yeah. Oh my God, everybody who's listening to this who knows about one day is like screaming. <sighs> okay, we're going to spoil one day in three, two, one. One. So after all those years of like, will they or won't they, they finally get together. Yeah. In the movie, I think they had like just decided that they were in love or something. In the TV show, they go on to get married. Um, they're trying to have a kid. Oh. Uh, and then on this day that they always meet, you know, in this future that they're in, it's been like a couple years. Oh, no. It's raining. And, you know, they said in the show, I don't think I ever talk about it in the movie, like it doesn't rain on Saint whatever day it is. Huh. Um. Did they die? The the female character gets hit by a bus and she dies. <laughs> Gone. And it's like a really tragic line in the book where they say, um, God, what do they say? Emma, it's like her name's like Emma something. Uh, they said she she 
had a thought and then they say, and that's the last thing Emma, like Matthew or Maura, whatever last name was, ever thought and all of her memories were gone. Like something like that. Like it's so tragic and the book's not over and it keeps going to show like Dex's life after she died. Um, but in the movie one day, it literally ends with her being hit by a car. Yeah. All her memories are so gone. Sad. That's why it's so funny when you were like, I didn't get to the end. I was like, oh my God, <laughs> you didn't get to the end. <laughs> it's the saddest part. Yeah. That's, I don't like, I don't know when, when movies do that, I'm like, we don't have to do that. <laughs> I mean, I guess like it's dealing with grief and stuff, but I'm just like, oh. Yeah. A lot of people like close their laptop and that they're like, and this is where it ended. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> Before that she died. Before she died. And then, then, and then they were all yeah. happy and uh-huh. it was perfect. Yeah. yeah. Okay. Yeah. We're done spoiling one day. So welcome back. Bye one yeah. day. Bye one Bye-bye. day. Um, what about you guys? What's a show that you forgot that you watch? So I watch so many just like Scandi crime dramas. I couldn't even remember <laughs> the names of them. You know what I mean? Scandi crime mm-hmm. dramas. Yeah. Cause they're just like this serial just watch, you know, mm-hmm. and you, you just binge. watch so many of them and then they yeah. all blend into one. Yeah. How are you mags? I feel like that's Mine what, is that's a it. movie. Mm-hmm. Uh, Rolls. A Wonka. A Wonka. I thought I was so excited for it and I completely forgot I watched it. Mm. It was that good. You didn't I, like the Oompa Lumpus. Oompa Lumpus. Lumpa. The Oompa Lumpus from Lumpa I wouldn't say I hated it, but I don't, I wouldn't rewatch it. <gasps> I'd rewatch it. Sorry, I thought it was, you thought I thought it was, it was for like seven year olds. Yeah. Well, I was like, this is a movie for very little kids. I thought there'd be like some more wink wink to the adults, but I didn't realize it was going to be that child. Oh, well, it is a child friendly story, but whatever, whatever. I, I had Not other trolls, expectations. Huh? <laughs> I also, I mean, <laughs> I still love Trolls One and Two, Trolls Three. I already, I've already spoken. She's already spoken. I've already spoken on, Trolls, on three. Trolls Three. But hey, <laughs> R.I.P. Love this for you. <laughs> R.I.P. Trolls. <laughs> I'm making chocolate. See, <laughs> I, I didn't watch it, it so <gasps> I'm lost. <laughs> What's the Scrub Scrub? I thought it was cute. It's cute. I like Scrub <laughs> Scrub. It's cute. Come it's on, cute. it's cute. <laughs> Uh, was it great? No. Is it for babies? Yes. <laughs> Becky's a baby, apparently. Honest, I also really like, like, it tickled me when he said it in the movie. It tickled me every time I saw the trailer, every once in a while. Um, Keith will just walk in a room and say, I'm making chocolate, of course. <laughs> like, it's, it's so aggressive in the trailer. Like, why, Timote? Why was that the delivery? I'm making chocolate, of course. <laughs> well, it stuck with you. That's it why. really did. It stuck with you. It really did. Catchy. It's catchy. Way to go, Timote. Um, did like, you have a favorite meme of the year? Mm. Good luck explaining it. Do people still do memes? Meme or moment? Oh, I mean. You don't meme. meme? I guess like the meme on your, like the yeah, meme. Uh, like a GIF. Yeah, the meme uh, keyboard. Yeah. Like, but do you use it that often? I don't really use it much. I do. Not with me? I literally. Who are you sending memes to? Like you're not sending memes to me. I literally <laughs> sent you one the other day. Literally <laughs> sent you one the other day. <laughs> you sent Becky has good meme I choices. Love memes. Yeah. I love them. I really love um, the little girl from Toddlers and Tiaras. She, she looks around and she smiles. And she's like, <laughs> 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 it's like very devious. I like that one a lot. Uh-huh, I like. Uh-huh, um, uh-huh. <sighs> who is it? Like Winnie the Pooh looking in the mirror and he's got no pants on. He's like, think, 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 think. <laughs> I like that one. <laughs> Let me see what I have on my phone. Let me see what's on my meme keyboard. My meme board. My meme board. All right, I'll see what's on mine. I feel like I, I don't use mine as much as you. I thought memes were out. Out? Okay, so my top ones are that little girl. A bunch of chicken nuggets smiling. Or maybe they're potato balls. <laughs> There's a group of elderly women dancing in their kitchen. There's and these a, are ones you use or are these suggested? No, these are the ones that I use. Recently. They're the top ones. Yeah. A little girl in a yellow raincoat eating cotton, cotton candy, candy, going nuts, going, oh, I love her. That one showed up on mine, too. That one showed up on mine, too. Um, I wonder if. Mm. Oh, um, Lauren Conrad and Whitney Port going, ah. Mm. Ah, back and forth. Screams. Elmo with fire in the background with his arms up. I love Chaos. that one. That one always Chaos. makes me pee myself laughing and I don't yeah. know why. Too real. Oh, you know what one I use that is SpongeBob doing this. Mm. Getting excited. Wiggle, 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 yeah. Wiggle. Becky the meme queen. Yeah. Oh, and then this one I use with David a lot, which is Alexis throwing her hair back and forth. <laughs> David. 
Yeah. David. David. So that's what I use. Those are my memes. The Oscar goes to Becky. Oscar goes yeah. to Becky. Yeah, happy to accept this award <laughs> in honor of all the older millennials with us today who still <laughs> send memes. <laughs> <laughs> YOLO. I like sending memes of Keith to Keith. <laughs> That's pretty good. Those are funny. That's pretty good. Yeah, that's are you good. able to upload to the meme library? I wonder how these get aggregated. Giphy. I think Giphy. it's in a partnership um, with Giphy. Oh, I see. Yeah, my Talk favorite. To the one that I use for Keith is Vegas, baby. <laughs> <laughs> send that one. I'm excited. I'm ready. That Let's one's to applicable Vegas. today. You can send oh, it yeah. him today. Vegas, baby. That's true. Yeah. Today's the day. Okay, hoes. So we're going to play a little game of smash or pass okay. for beauty products. Beauty One of them we same. already um, touched on. Korean sunscreen, baby. Smash or oh. pass. Smash. Smash all day every day. Smash, 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 smash. Yeah. Why doesn't the U.S. like take notes and like do. <sighs> Call the FDA. You know, I know. Call the FDA. They have like such better filters, I feel like, and better skincare ingredients. That's true. Yeah. Okay. Smash. Well, I feel like we already kind of talked about that one, so we don't have to go in there. Um, smash or pass, viral product, the glow screen sunscreen. I don't even know what that Super is. Goop. Mm. Super Goop. I know people love it. I've never used it. I've never you... used it. It hurt my eyes. Mm. I have sensitive peeps. That's why I like the Korean sunscreens. They don't, don't hurt run. my peepers. They don't run? They don't run. But I have girlfriends who love the Super Goop glow. Yeah. I it use here? it on my well, I use it on my chest because I don't want to put it on my face. Hall. Is this the one yeah. that has almost like a tint to it? Or is it just like yeah, it's like a little like shimmery? Mm. It's a glitter, it's a glitter stick. It's a glitter stick. Oh. No, it's not a stick. It's a squeezy. Mm-hmm. You don't understand, Matt. Pass. You could never understand. Pass. <gasps> pass. Sorry about that. Um, I don't know what this third one is. Smash or pass a phenol peel? A phenol peel. Those are phenol? crazy. Okay. I was like, <laughs> you, know, Matt, you haven't what is seen those phenol, phenol peel? Oh my God. So you you have you go, it has to be like a, a doctor does this, like a medical doctor. You okay. can't just go like to an esthetician or something. And they put this crazy acid on your face. Uh-huh. And it literally takes like a week to two weeks for it to totally burn through the layers of your skin. And then you go back to the doctor and they take your whole face off <gasps> like a big scab. <laughs> I've never heard of this. Scabby mask. It's scab. insane. It looks so scary. <gasps> and apparently it's like very, very, very painful. <gasps> Why do people, but people do it? Why do people do because it? Because it literally deletes like years off of their life. No, years <gasps> off of their skin, <laughs> you know, Whoa. like it makes them look younger. Like immediately. I feel like it's like Tommy Lee Jones in Batman. Like he fell into the acid. That's literally what it's people like, look like. I'm guessing after tackles they're doing it. dark spots and Yeah. And like collagen. especially like wrinkles and deeper wrinkles and stuff, because you can really like Well, yeah, because you don't have a face anymore. How could you have wrinkles if you have all, no skin? You're like down to the bone. <laughs> baby skin. It's new, baby skin. It's fresh skin. It's Is it basically fresh. what baby feet does it's to fresh feet? Skin. <gasps> oh yeah. Is it like a baby feet peel? Um, I don't know. How? What's like the downtime? Can you like go, weeks go? Like in you public? look, you look scary, insane. You need to see it. <laughs> okay, let me find it. You need to see it. But I can't believe you guys have never seen this on their TikTok either. Mm-mm. I think you have more skin peeling than we have on ours. I think you got skin on the brain. <laughs> he got skin in the gang. <laughs> <laughs> Why isn't it coming up? It's not real. You dreamed it. <laughs> <laughs> it is. This is actually fake. You. It's not real. Okay. <gasps> that looks painful. <gasps> I told you. Oh my god! What is the top layer? Like it literally said, you blood? could get a fatal something or other from it. <gasps> yeah, pass. It's, like, it's a chemical peel that just like really pass. Gets pass. Pass. Down. Pass. Pass. Don't do it. It's not worth it. See, and some people just do it in their problem areas. Like this lady just did around her eyes. Oh my gosh. Oh my gosh. <laughs> Ooh, ooh, ooh. How do you oh, no. how do you go out in public? And no. I don't think you do. I, I think, think you're for like weeks? you probably have home. to stay home, yeah. DoorDash. For no. <laughs> Dash pass by DoorDash. <laughs> <laughs> that sounds no, pass, pass, pass. I don't even want to talk about it anymore. Bash. Um smash, smash. Or pass. <laughs> Tongue scrapers. Smash. 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 Yeah. Scrape that tongue. Yeah. Feels good. I can't not do it once I started doing it. Really? Yeah. I can't not. 
Can't stop. Won't can't stop. stop. Won't stop. Can't stop. Um, we already know what Matt's is going to be on this one. LED face mask. Smash oh, or pass. Smash. Every day. I've never tried one, can't but stop, I've heard stop. raving reviews. I've only done it at the esthetician. You need to start. We'll have a party. I think Each I'm just 20 over minutes. Minutes. Everyone gets 20 <laughs> minutes and a glass of wine. <laughs> Fall asleep. <laughs> How do you select the best one? Because like I've been interested, but there's like so many different Yeah, there's options. so many. I want to make and sure I get the I best mean, you one. Really, you, you, I mean, there's things on TikTok where you like get the chicken coop warmer, you know, whatever. But those d- are not the same. You can't just chicken get Chicken coop That's warmer. Curious. Yeah, because they're like red light that you put like in chicken coops, like keep them warm. Matt, it's you're not, like, really the same. deep into. Well, you have <laughs> you to do You want to burn your face off. <laughs> it's like because it has to be like a certain intensity Wavelength. and it has yeah. to be a certain frequency too. So you need something that's like a little more medical. Okay. Mm-hmm. Okay. So smash. Smash. Mm-hmm. Um, smash or pass a lip plumper. I don't think I've ever used lip plumper. Plump, no. Plumper. I love no. a plumping gloss. Does it like smash? Does it like smash. tingle? Yeah, mm-hmm. it tingles. So what is I've it doing? Is like it just like pulling? One. Is it just pulling like? Blood I think it just like your lips or like how does yeah, it work? Yeah, it's tingly. So I'm. I mean, it doesn't. No, it's actually, definitely causing some sort of reaction. Yeah. It's like yeah. yeah it's making your lips swell. Mm-hmm. Yeah. Would you do the Botox that like flips your lip to make your lips look more plump? No, my lips look plump enough. Oh. I've plumped wow. enough. Because <laughs> you can do like Botox, I think, like around. You have to be a good candidate. A little bit and it'll like. A lip flip. Little yeah. like, yeah. I've seen that on TikTok, but then I see people try to drink out of a straw and they're like. Like Jennifer Coolidge? Teeth. Yeah. That, like, you are doing teeth. a Jennifer Coolidge move right there. <laughs> just teeth. <laughs> yeah, I don't think I would do that. I think that would scare me. And you would have to get it done so many times a year because Botox only lasts, I think, like three or four months. You do a pass. The, well, I guess that filler? wasn't one of them. Would you do filler lip plumping? No. That would scare me so much. A needle in my looks, mouth. It looks so painful. A needle mm-hmm. in my mouth. It looks so painful. Yeah. It's like, what is it actually doing? Like all the filler. Yeah, it scares me. I'm like, filled with what? Filled with what? <laughs> <laughs> I'm not smart enough to know what it is. Filled with what? Dreams. It's filler, but <laughs> filled with what? It's, <laughs> what is filled, it? filled it's hyaluronic dreams. acid, but What's there's like it? so many different types and you have to like worry about like migration and stuff. So like people who get lip fillers, sometimes all it'll migrate to like their upper lip. So then they'll have like a bigger upper lip, mm. which is not. Ideal. Yeah, I don't think I it's can a ever delicate do filler. balance. It's a delicate balance. Yeah. Never yeah. say never, but it really scares me. Something oh needles in my mouth now is what I'm thinking about. <gasps> yeah. <sighs> Speaking of needles, but not really. Uh smash or pass tubing mascara. Which do you like better, Matt? Regular mascara? Tubing, tubing. mascara. What does tubing mascara even mean? That feels so weird to say. Tubing mascara m- makes like little, essentially like little, co- there's like little cones. It's like little fibers and you can oh. take it off by just sort of rubbing. You don't have to like oil it off. So you have like oh. less flaking and it makes your lashes look really long. So it's like you're adding fiber to your lashes. Do we like it? Yeah, what? I like it. Thrive makes one. Half Magic makes one that I like. What happens when you cry? Do they just, do the fibers just disintegrate? Probably. I never tried. So Next time mascara you do it, doesn't cry. run. Now let me know. Essentially. Okay. <laughs> hmm? It doesn't run. I have no idea. That's what I was saying. She needs to it. cry. No, I have used it. I haven't cried, though, while wearing it. No, but I feel like just like as an oily person, it even if I like powder and stuff, I still like oil breaks through. And I always have like mascara drippage. Streaks. Oh, yeah. This like more flakes. Like oh, it comes okay. off in little flakes. Because mm-hmm. you can just go mm-hmm. and take mm-hmm. it off. I like the half magic one. Mm -hmm. That one's really good. It comes in different colors. Mm, Mm. Red. For you, vampire. Um, So smash. Smash your ass. Vaseline. Smash. 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 Well, we know your thoughts. Yeah, I love it. We like Vaseline, but we don't like Aquaphor. I mean, a lot. Aquaphor is great. It has a lot of like hydrating properties, but I'm allergic to it. So (sighs) I, for the the general population, smash Aquaphor. For me personally, no. Past. I like Vaseline. Yeah. Smeared yeah. on. Smeared on. We're an Aquaphor yeah. family. Mm-hmm. Aquaphor goes everywhere. Mm-hmm. And your hair. Yeah, I put on my hair as a hair mask. Ooh. No, I don't really do that. I feel like I feel like I was that like, take, really? No, that'd be so hard I feel to like it would take out. forever. You're it, would need be the there, head. it would be there until you cut your hair. Yeah. You need the head spot. <laughs> right I away. shave my hair. Yeah. Yes. 
Well, thank you again for tuning in this week, everyone. (laughs) Be sure that you are washing your hands, being after sex, uh, registering to vote in your local election. Um, Be kind to yourself, be kind to others, tip your servers, and we will see you next week. Bye. Bye. Bye.